that the Kirk has waited a week for. I promise you it's worth waiting for. We've had a lot of fun with Notre Dame's pension for creating and then cashing in on breaks, but is it the fountain of good fortune? Is it age-old belief as Rocket thinks? Or is it aided by new technology, a device created to train musicians? So, Coach Rockney, Coach Leahy, listen up. George Smith has the story of a high-tech tool the four horsemen could never have dreamed of. It was just out of the blue. Out of the sun. I don't know what you don't know what you're getting into. You hear metronome, you think maybe it's a drink or it's you know some kind of supplement or something. But it was actually a good training. Very unique training. The interactive metronome involves computer-generated tones to fine-tune a player's senses and coordination to above-average levels. It is a program of focus and concentration enhancement that allows a player to better focus all of his energies on the given task. In one exercise, players hear a cowbell sound in their headphones and try to clap their hands at that exact moment. You hear beep, beep, and you just gotta beep, 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 try to clap when the beep comes. It gets to the point where, you know, you're looking at it and you're like, I don't know how I can clap this many times in a row and just still be on the beat. Guys used to joke about this all the time. We used to joke about it because, you know, we were like, you know, how can clapping, you know, help us get any better, you know what I mean? But, I mean, Coach Willingham always preaches it to us. It's not like really what you're doing, it's how you do it. Originally designed to help musicians, the metronome was later found to have positive effects on those with learning and attention disorders. It also enhances the mental speed of the athletically gifted. It just helps helps me just as far as exploding off the ball, like getting to a point where I can just feel and anticipate when it's going to come because in any way, shape, or form, it's going to take you at least two, two tenths of a second for human recognition to see movement. But if you get to the point where you can just feel that movement, then that just negates and you're off on the ball before that guy even gets out of the stance. If you have the ability to focus and concentrate on the task at hand, then especially during pressure situations, you're much cleaner, you're much clearer in your thoughts and your, uh, and your view of what's taking place, and therefore, it should enhance the ability to make big plays. Got it, touchdown! Chase out of the pocket, sack! Touchdown, Irish! I think ultimately it makes a difference. I think so. I mean, you, you're going to have distractions during the ballgame. You know, the crowd's going to be in it, other players are going to be yelling at you, and you got to remain focused on what your goal is, and I think that was the main goal of, you know, metronome. You still got to go out there and hit guys. You still got to catch the ball. I think it helps you focus to the point where you can help yourself win the ball game. You got hypnotized hey, during the piece. Good. You okay? Yeah, Notre fun. Dame is the only school using this. The Miami Dolphins use it, but USC and Northwestern are looking into it. I guess if the players think it makes a difference, it makes a difference. Right? I mean, I'm going for that thing. Sounded good.